Well, that was a pretty good show there, huh, Jeff? They know how to do this up here at uh, <laughs> CMCC. Southern Maine Community College on the beautiful Maine coast right here. My hometown of South Portland, Maine. Yep. Lot to be proud of, definitely, and we are about ready for tip-off. This big showdown and this crowd is fired up. If you thought they were fired up for the women's game, this is a, a little bit louder, a little more lively, and a big test for the home standing SeaWolves here. Really need this game, and they're just gonna try to hang tough, maybe pull one out here. Yeah, they got a tough, uh, tough road here. This uh, Central Maine Community College Mustang men's team is, Dave Gagne has his guys ready to play every single night. They're, they've been very strong all season long, so SM's gonna have a, uh, a tough road right here to take home the win from Hub Gymnasium here in South Florida, Maine. Alonzo James, the former star from Mar Morris High School, he's gonna jump center, it looks like, for the Mustangs. He's joined in the starting lineup by Justin Cocroft, Jason Hughes, those aren't the starters, never mind. <laughs> no, I think we'll they were going, let's see what we got here. No, I didn't circle no, my Mike, starters. Michael Green is starting. You've got Samson Oliemi out there. You've got Curtis Miller, the three-point threat, and Nick Hinckley are joining James. SMCC, Anderson Santana, Dan Foster, Joe Jardine, Josh Mackey, and Jake Loveridge are your starters. Santana's gonna jump center with James, and we are underway. The tip comes to the Seawolves, and here we go. First possession of the game, Mackey with the basketball. Santana on the dribble, loses the dribble. And now they reset. Expect a fast pace here, an attempted lob pass, no good, it goes out of bounds, so a quick turnover for the Seawolves, inauspicious beginning. You already see that strong perimeter defense that the Mustangs are gonna play here. Tonight, obviously Nick Hinckley is going to be one of those kids who's going to play that tough perimeter defense from Wiscasset. Oh, Michael Green, the point guard number two, he uh, makes this offense go. And we've got a quick foul on Dan Foster. He's from South Portland, but he actually played at Chevres. Just 30 seconds into this game. First possession for the Mustangs. Number 23 right in front of us, Jeff. Uh, Mr. Miller, very dangerous with a three-point shot. If he's on, look out. Yeah, Curtis Miller will shoot uh, just about from anywhere on the floor. You give him a couple uh, couple steps and he'll uh, he'll spot up and he'll bury it. And Green slashing, he's gonna pull up for a jumper and he gets the shooter's roll. Beautiful kiss off the back of the uh, iron right there by Michael Green and Michael Green's gonna do that. He's gonna take it to the hoop and be strong with those moves. Here's Foster now trying to get some offense going. Anderson with the ball. Now Mackey on the baseline, kicks it back out. Here's Foster, and they swing it around. There's Mackey lining up a three, and it's not good. Rebound's gonna be taken away by Sampson. Here he comes, they've got numbers if they hurry. Sampson Ariemi runs into the defender, and Nick Hinkley, Joe Jardine takes the charge there. It's a turnover. Yes, uh, Samson Olmey had Hinkley on his wing, and then we're looking at right there at the shot by Michael Green from the last possession, but Hinkley was on the wing. I think they should have worked that ball to, to the uh, wing much quicker. Jardine with the ball. There's Mackey with a three, not gonna go. He had a good look, and again, big time numbers for the Mustangs. Samson to Green, to Samson for the layup. Beautiful play right there by Samson to fill that. Lane, be right there, ready for the uh, quick, easy layup. Four to nothing, Mustangs with the early lead, and if you're Coach Richards, this is exactly what you don't want. You don't want this CMCC team to come out and uh, get confidence early in your barn. Foster with a three, no good. They've had three good looks at threes. They can't get them to drop. Santana with a rebound, and now we have a turnover. Two on one the other way. Here comes James, fakes the pass and can't finish. Yeah, and that's uh, obviously a nice take right there and went up strong with it, but just couldn't put it in with an easy layup. Alonzo James had that the whole way. Foster trying to feed Loveridge. The ball's knocked out of bounds. So we're a little over two minutes into this game. Mustangs up four to nothing. Well, you can see the strong defense that this uh, CMCC Mustang team plays. That perimeter is awfully tough to crack. So right now, if you're the Seawolves, you just want to get something going. And now Mackey with a good look at a three and it just won't drop. They're getting good look. And here we go the other way. Bringing it up is James. Mustangs up four nothing. Two and a half minutes into this game. James Fakes now pulls up with that jump shot. He's so effective with that and he knocks it down. Cannot give him that kind of space because he's gonna bury that on you every single time. 
And again, another big basket off a uh, turnover on the uh, on the Seawolves. Mustangs will take you home. You know, you gotta figure Coach Richards, he's on the verge of calling a timeout here. It's already six nothing. If they don't have a good possession and the Mustangs score at the other end, I gotta believe he'll get one. And the thing is, they're getting good looks, the Seawolves are. They're just not knocking shots down. Santana with a long three. That one's not gonna go. And here we go again. Green off to the races. Up ahead to Sampson. Sampson goes in, lays it up and in. And as predicted, Coach Richards takes time out. It's already 8-0 Mustangs. Boy, the CMCC team came to play tonight right from the get-go. Michael Green driving this offense, getting the ball pushed down the court, getting it, the ball into the hands of his guys that can score. And here we go. You just see great teamwork. And there's Sampson with the finish. Green with a beautiful pass. And here we go, this is the fast break there again. Oriemi just slashing through the defense. It's eight nothing early on. Boy, they're doing such a great job of pushing that ball. And that's, the, that's what the Mustangs do. They push that ball hard and strong, force you to play strong defense. And right now the Mustangs uh, got it all going on. Now, Dave Gagne, there's always something with taking his jacket off. He hasn't taken his jacket off yet. And it's warm in here, you'd think he would. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to keep the jacket watch for uh, the Mustangs head coach. But if you're the Seawolves and Matt Richards, you gotta tell your guys, start pressing things. You got eight nothing right now. You gotta make a play. Don't get out of your offense. Do what you do best. Get around the perimeter, find that lane, and uh, get through that uh, tough Mustang defense. Well, I tell you, they're on the verge of really falling behind by a big margin here, and you gotta just stem the tide. Get a basket and start there. Santana on the drive, and a nice feed to leverage. He goes up, lays it up, and one. And again, you just they were patient with that time. Beautiful ball movement right there by Anderson Santana. Found a little lane on the baseline. Cut to that baseline, drew the defender, and was able to get the ball over to number 30, Jake Leverage. Foul on Nick Hinckley there. So Leverage with a chance at a three-point play, and that would be huge. Still very early in this game, obviously, yeah, but when the Mustangs score eight in a row, you start to worry. You just gotta be patient. You get find that lane, because there will be a lane that will open up. Free throw rolls in, it's eight to three. And that gets you on the board, and that's a big plus. Now time to play a little strong defense. Force CM into a, into a bad play. And a near turnover, and in fact, the ball is loose. Here comes Mackey with it. They decide to pull it up. And here's Santana goes in for a layup. It's an 8-5 game. Well, beautiful feed by uh, Joe Jar Jardine. He had Santana cut in baseline. Jardine found him in stride for the easy layup. Well, now a 5-0 run by the Seawolves. Cuts the deficit 8-5. Here's Green with a pull-up jumper. That won't go, and the rebound comes down to Mackey. Here we go the other way. The Seawolves could actually tie things up on this possession. Santana for the tie. Just off. No good. That would have brought the house down. 8-5 our score, CM with the lead, we're a little more than four minutes in, and here's Curtis Miller pulling up for one of his long threes. Nothing but net, you gotta guard him pretty much from the midcourt stripe on. Didn't I tell you, those boys in Bingham shoot from anywhere on the floor, Curtis Miller. And they make them too. Yeah, they do. 11-5 <laughs> CM, that long three by Miller. Back and forth we go here. And a little runner in the lane, in and out, and dropping in Joe Jardine. And that, that's exactly what you gotta do if you're the Seawolves. Cut that ball to hoop quick, a nice little righty runner. And now here's James slashing in. He lays it up, can't finish, but he'll go to the line for two. I think they're gonna whistle that on Jake Leverage. And again, you've, you've stemmed that tide, and here's that uh, great play. Little righty runner there. Yep, got the shooter's roll. By Joe Jardine, Joe Jardine is Going to need to step up tonight and make a big play. Foul is actually on Anderson Santana, his first, team second. James at the foul line, and he shot is no good. He'll get one more. Well, it, if you're the Seawolves, you're ha kind of happy now. You're taking the first punch by the Mustangs, and now you're starting to fight back. Uh, interesting sidebar here on James, Jeff. He was actually going to come to SMCC, decided at the last minute to go to CM. So, oh, boy. So they get a little extra uh, spice to the rivalry here with that, and his second free throw is good, makes it a 12-7 game. James with three points in the early going. Some new players on the floor for the Seawolves. We'll talk about them as we go along. And the ball's kicked out to Emmanuel Donald Donaldson, he's one of them. Jardine on the drive, Donaldson now with the ball out front to Anderson Santana. Jardine, very active on offense. Here's Mackey with a pull-up jumper, that's not gonna go, not a good shot. Samson with a rebound coming the other way. Mackey's been off balance, he kinda jumps backwards when he tries to take the shot. And tell me how Curtis Miller put that one in, looked like he was out of control, stayed with it, 
and kissed it right off the glass. Well, he somehow got that one over the rim. It's 14 to wow. seven now. Mustangs with a lead, and here's a steal by Hinkley. He read that pass all the way, going in, lays it up, draws the foul. He'll go to the line for two. Mackey did a good, or Jardine did a good job getting back there, but he fouled him. Great take right there, and here we're gonna see. Yeah, look at that, he didn't even have to control the ball. He threw it toward the rim and it went in. That works. Yeah, hey, you know what? He scored the bucket, he kind of looked cool doing it, so. Yeah, not the way you draw it up, but yeah. it works. No, that, that's not the way he wanted to score, but he still scored, and Nick Hinkley, this kid is a, is a worker. He absolutely plays real tough underneath the basket. Just, you know, he's, he's uh, not a big kid, but man, he plays hard underneath the basket like he's you know, six foot two, six foot three. He's not quite that tall. 15 to seven, Hinkley with one more foul shot here. And that's good. That's actually the biggest lead of the game now for the Mustangs, SMCC with their run, but now it's a 16-7 contest. Jardine with a basketball. Here's Donaldson, back to Jardine. Jardine on the drive, and he feeds Santana for a layup and one. What a great job that time by Jardine to draw the defense. He found he had just enough space to cut baseline, and he did, and uh, kissed it right off to Anderson Santana for the bucket and the harm. Number 33, uh, Calvin Goosby in the game. He's uh, certainly given the Mustangs some good minutes this year. And again, that was a beautiful drive where he just, he drew the defenders and that's what Jardine's gonna have to do. He's done that a couple times so far this game. Draw the defenders and make the easy pass for the easy bucket. And that foul was on Goosby. The free throw, no good. So it's just a two point play. And then Sampson can't handle the rebound. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Seawolves basketball. The Seawolves, they, they don't feel like they're out of this game early. And obviously there's plenty of time, 14 minutes to go here in the first. They're only up six, they're down 16 to nine. So they're still right within this game. Inbounding the ball now. Number four, Tyler Cummings new in the game. And then we have an errant pass, goes out of bounds. Donaldson couldn't hook up with Cummings. It'll be a turnover. Yeah, a little miscommunication I think that time. Donaldson just uh, was expecting somebody to turn around and be there to receive the pass and they weren't. And out of bounds. Well, here come the Mustangs up seven, 16 to nine. We got 14 minutes to play here in the first half. Goosby up to Sampson, who swings it over now. Cocroft in the game, James with a shot, a rare miss, but Goosby gets the rebound. And here comes Sampson, look out, he kicks it out to Cocroft for a three, it's not gonna go. And this time the rebound is down on the floor, grabbed by Chance Baldino, but he never had a chance. He tripped, he fell, he traveled, it's a turnover. Yeah, that's gonna stay, uh... It's gonna stay right here, Mustang ball. He tried to get in between a couple trees and couldn't quite come away clean and fell and traveled. 16 to nine, Mustangs lead, 13.40 to play here in the first half. Oriemi's gonna take a three, back rim no good. This time Chance grabs it and keeps possession. Here come the Seawolves down by seven. Again, it's time to set up a solid possession for your offense. Find that bucket, find that lane. And Foster hits Dow, but Dow gets the ball stolen away. And a long lead pass to Hinkley. Somehow he grabs it, lays it up and in. Hink wow. Hinkley does such a great job of getting out front of that. He got way out just like a wide receiver. Got a little English on the ball, just enough to get it back in his hands. Kiss it off the glass. The two impossible angle shots go in for the Mustangs. They now have doubled up the Seawolves. 18-9, 13 minutes to play in the first half. SMCC holding on for dear life here in the early going. Trailed 8-0 right out of the gate, and then they got back in it. But right now, down by nine. Foster over to Baldino. Donaldson blows right past the defender, lays it up, and it doesn't go. Wow, that shot did everything but drop. James with the rebound. Here we go the other way with the Mustangs. Hinkley, pull-up jumper, not gonna go. The rebound is grabbed by Cocroft. He can't finish, and now the Seawolves come the other way. Love the pace of this game. Both teams are very aggressive, trying to get it to the hoop. Seawolves just haven't been able to crack that perimeter defense. And now Donaldson with a jump shot is good. Nice pull up over Donaldson. Nick Hinkley. Hinkley was right there in his face, but Donaldson pulled up over top of him and buried it. The intensity level is skyrocketing here. 18-7, 18-11, CMCC with the lead. 12 minutes to play here in the first half, and we have a turnover. Yeah, I think uh, the Mustangs are gonna slow it down a little bit, and they get, uh, they get a couple players back in the game. Curtis Miller's coming back in the game for them. Nick Hinkley's gonna sit down for a bit. And the Seawolves down seven. They have a chance to draw a little bit closer here, bringing the ball up. Tyler Cummings with the basketball, sophomore from Farmingdale. And here's Donaldson now on the drive. He hit that last shot. 